Hello everyone. Thank you for coming up today. My old subscribers, thank you. And to those that are viewing for the first time or that have not subscribed, please click on the subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified each time we upload a new video. And to my new subscribers, thank you for subscribing. This is a shocking incident. A boyfriend pushed his own girlfriend from a five-story building in Anambra State. He's a 37 years old man who goes by the name Nonsu. However, he has been arrested. It was released that at about 6.30 a.m. this morning, um, the men of the Awada police station received the report that the victim fell from a fifth floor of the five-story building that was located at Orakwe Fizel Awade Obasi in Idemili local government area of Anambra State. And it was said that inquiries from the occupants of the compound revealed that the girl was allegedly pushed down from the room of Nonso, who is aged 37 years, of the same address and occupying the fifth floor following a quarrel which they had that him and the girlfriend had this quarrel. And Nonso was subsequently arrested and Serge executed his apartment where a pair of female slippers and unused condom was recovered as exhibits. And the police spokesperson added that the corpse was deposited at the hospital mortuary for autopsy while investigation is still ongoing to ascertain circumstances surrounding the incident after which Nonso will be brought to the book that judgment and charges will be laid against him after the investigation is carried out. You can imagine what a human being will do to his fellow human being. And this happened today morning, just today. What must have led him to carry out this gruesome act? You can see the lady lying on the floor. You don't expect this person to survive. It's terrible. Why would you go to this extent? Irrespective of the kind of quarrel you've had with the person. Wow. And she was even rushed to the Bex Hospital in Onisha for medical attention. But she died on arrival by the medical doctor. That was what he had said. It's horrible that you will see people go to an extent of doing certain things to their fellow human being. And you just pause and wonder, what kind of a heart do you have? Or how do you feel doing this kind of a thing to your fellow human being? Who knows how long they've been together, even if it's for just a day or they just got to know each other a few minutes ago. It's not enough that you treat your fellow human being in such a cruel and gruesome manner. So now this lady's parents and family will be mourning her today. It's just unfortunate that some people take drastic decisions. That is the reason why. It's not good to take decisions in anger. It could be hard sometimes when you're so angry and you can't control it. It's better you walk away. Take a breather. Breathe in and breathe out and walk out. And tell yourself you don't want to react. Or tell yourself you will calm down. Just try to have that self-control when you are angry. Because... Once you take decisions in anger, oh no, you would even regret your actions afterwards. A lot of people have come out to say, oh, I didn't know when I did this. Oh, I did this in anger. Most times, people that have regrets will end up telling you that they did that in anger. In the heat of that anger, they carried out that action. It is very important that we as human beings should learn to control our temperament, control our anger, because it must have been anger that has led this guy 
to carry and act like this since they had a quarrel. Definitely, you can't be quarreling somebody and you're excited and you throw the person off from five-story building. No, it's not possible. This is only as a result of anger. You get angry to a point that you lose control of your own self, which is not a good thing for any human being at all. Please pause and think before you act. Even in that anger, sometimes some people are say it's difficult. Some people will say it's difficult to think in anger, but that is not true. You can hold yourself back because it is still your body. You have the control over your body at that time. You have the control over your actions at that time. You have a control over your thoughts at that time. So which means you can pull back, have self-control and stop. Tell yourself, I would wait, I'll give myself time. And you would notice that as soon as you pause, you allow yourself to calm down. When you decide to react to whatever upsets you, you would observe that your action may be mild or whatever you're going to react to, you may not react in a harsh manner anymore because you have calmed down at that particular time that you are reacting. Everybody as human beings get angry, but how well we can control our anger matter a whole lot. Even the Bible says, do not let the sun go down on your anger because even God knows that we as human beings, we are bound to get angry as a human being. But then your ability to control your anger matter a whole lot. Always take a step back when you are angry. Tell yourself, I will be in control of my own self and not the anger controlling me. If we're able to do this or say this to ourselves whenever we are angry, you would see that you will take actions, even in anger, in a very mild way because you have already controlled your anger by your own self, within your own self. And then acting at that time or later on will be much better or mild actions will be taken. Rather than acting in anger, taking decisions in anger, it doesn't end up well at all. Look at this guy now. He has killed this lady. He's now charged for murder. I know mother cases, you can't just be let go like that. You can't just be set free. You have to pay for this act of death you have caused. And the families would not even let you just go scot-free. They will ensure that you face charges or save, face consequences for this action. It's such a pain. It's really painful to see someone that you know, the person is okay, healthy, and then will just die as a result of someone else's action. Please try not to stain your hands with blood. Try not to get yourself involved with an act that would lead to someone dying or to lose someone else's life. You as a human being, you are the controller of your own self in situations like this. So please have control of yourself, have control of that anger and you will see how things would work out fine for you because you would even be happy with yourself if you pause and don't act in anger and you act later you'll be happy with yourself with the way you would act because definitely you won't act the same way you would have acted when you were angry the actions will be different because your reaction at that time wasn't the same with the reaction you would have had when the incident happened please always pause and there's no crime in praying to God. If you are a hot-tempered person, you say you can't control it, you can pray to God. A lot of people have come out to testify that they used to be really hot-tempered. And then they find themselves that the hot temper is gone as a result of praying and asking God to help them control that anger. Anger is one very de deadly thing. It can kill. Anger can kill within seconds, within minutes. This thing, anger, it's one of the poisonous thing that can kill a human being so please don't let anger take control of you rather take control of that anger may the soul of this lady rest in perfect peace with the lord and i pray that the almighty god 
will console her own family and friends and all those that knew her. It's a very terrible incident and a sad one to have happened to anybody at all. Friends, whatever you think about this, please put that down at the comments section. Thank you for coming up today. Please, for those that have not subscribed, click on the subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified each time we upload a new video. Once again, thank you for coming up today. God bless you all.